What's up, athlete guy? Today we are back with another video. And what are we doing? We're making brownies. Yes, we are making brownies. Mm -hmm. So, guys, if you don't know us already, I am Alyssa and this is DeAndre. And obviously, I'm the older one. Even though she's nearly as tall as me, but it's not my fault that I'm short. But yeah, anyway guys, today we are going to be making chocolate brownies and we're going to take you along with the journey with us. Yeah? Okay. So guys, we have got two bags of Brown. Betty Crocker brownie mix. And that's what we're using because I love this brownie mix. I think it's so delicious. And it's simple to use. You only need to add egg, oil and water. And those are very common household items. So, yeah. Something chocolate. We're going to open these and put them into the bowl. I like Mama's going to explode everywhere. How do you open that so easily? There's a little slit at the side. Just pull it back then. <laughs> My hands are quite slippy, that's why. Mm. So, guys, I'm just gonna pour it in. No need to save. Make sure all the contents are out, every sip of it, because you don't want to lose any of this deliciousness. Trust mm. and believe. So, how many eggs are we put in? One each. One egg each. You crack your egg first. Well, well guys, not this city, I'm just a rookie, but this is how professional does it. One hand, you know? Okay, that didn't really work. Um, Professional. <laughs> Maybe you should just stick with the rookie for now. So guys, we're going to wash our raw hands now. Next, we need two tablespoons of oil. And this is just normal vegetable oil. Yeah. Which I'm pretty sure everyone has in their house, so... Hopefully. Just gonna... I'm going to do this for the Andre because this is a bit more difficult. Professional chef, you know. I'm a big girl, I can do it. Yay, thank you. Professional chef here, yeah. and it's dripping down the bottle. So we're just going to use normal tap water because I don't really think this needs bottled water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't mind it. One. Two. And now we're going to use our whisks and we're going to mix it up all together, combine it. So let's show you guys this. Well, let me tell you guys, this bit took absolutely forever. I do not know why the brownie mix was moving so stubborn, but we persevered and it came out good 
but anyway, cue the music. So guys, we are finished mixing it now. Yeah. And if you think it looks quite thick, it is very thick for a brownie mix. However, it's going to be melted and gooey. So it's not going to be like one of them horrible dry brownies because nobody wants that. But yeah, we've finished mixing now. And now we are going to grease this pan. We're going to use butter and some flour. You can use any flour you want, mm -hmm. but we're going to use plain. So guys, here is the greased tin, as I said. I used about a tablespoon of butter and just a pinch of flour. And I just knocked it around. And here we are, at this. <laughs> so now we are going to put the mix into the tin. Okay, once again guys, look at the brownie mix moving very, very, very stubborn. Everywhere the brownie mix is just going, I'm trying to put it in, I use a spoon, I use the whisk, and the brownie mix just wasn't, it wasn't budging, but once again, after some perseverance, we made it. Cue the music. Yeah, so guys, we are about to put our brownie mix into the oven at what? 180. For how long? 30 to 40 minutes. I was going to say that. But you didn't. This is the assistant chef I have to deal with, guys. Wish me luck.
just took this out of the oven and we're going to leave it to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. So guys, we have finished our brownies. They've cooled and we have plated it up with some ice cream and raspberries. Here's the finished product. doesn't look good look good so yeah guys thank you for watching this video make sure to like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and join the affleck gang